<laughs> we did it! We finally did it! That video... <laughs> The video that I've been teasing for the last two months is finally out. I sent Mr. Beast 100 million play button into space. And you might be thinking, Jack, why on earth do you still have the play button nearly two months later? That's right. This play button has been sat in the background of my videos for the last two months and none of you had any idea. You see that blurry box of trash that's been in all the videos? What could it be? Oh, what's this? It's the rig that sent the play button into space. It's a perfect fit. It's been in the background of all the videos and you've had absolutely no Idea. But yes, why have I not given Mr. Beast his play button back when he literally only wanted me to have it for 24 hours? Well, I might talk more about it, but basically I just had an absolute nightmare sending it back. There was a lot of stress for two weeks while the play button was literally just stuck in customs and there was nothing I could do about it. And I was really scared it was going to get broken while it was shipped back to Jimmy. But eventually it failed all the customs checks because of how expensive it is. And it was returned to me. Just like when it was dropped off, someone is going to travel over from America and pick it up by hand in London. But the team's also busy at the moment that I'm just holding on to it until someone has some time to go pick it up. But that's great for me because, hey, maybe we could make some more videos with it. Just like you would assume, I've already recorded like over 10 YouTube shorts that I'm going to slowly distribute over the next 12 months. <laughs> we are getting our money's worth with this play button. But anyway, I'm going to safely place it behind me. There we go. And let's take a look at this week's post on the subreddit. I like the spaceified banner, by the way. Nice touch. Good to see the Jack Sucks and Geography U2s has been squeezed in there. Talk more about that in a bit. But for now, how how did we get here? And it's me holding two red diamond play buttons, which is absolutely crazy. Holding 100 million subscriber play button, that is insane in itself. But holding two, and at the same time, that is mad. How did we get here? It's now over three years since my first viral play button video where I got a gold play button before a million subscribers. And here we are with 200 million subscribers worth of play buttons. That is quite the increase. I let Jack borrow my 100 million play button for a video. He puts it with PewDiePie's 100 million play button. How epic. He doesn't give it back and he sends it to space. <laughs> At the time of recording, I've just not heard from Mr. Beast, by the way. <laughs> After the first unboxing video, I did do a space teaser on Twitter, which he replied to be gentle with her. So he knows the plan. But yeah, he's just not been on social media for like the last four days. I could only assume that he's like buried alive or something. But I am excited to see his response. Hopefully he enjoyed the video because I think it was probably the coolest thing that I could have done with the opportunity. It was a crazy opportunity to be given. So I just really wanted to make the most of it. And I think that we pulled it off. Me and Becky would be just so unbelievably happy with the comments on the video, by the way. Like, just really appreciate your feedback and so glad that everyone enjoyed it. It really makes, like, the amount of time and effort that it took to put the video together really worthwhile. Please get this to Jack so he sees it. Aye, thank you very much. I received two different prototypes and I missed completely the fact that my glasses aren't coloured in on this side. You can see they are on this one, but this one, it's, like, mistakenly brown. So since I saw this post, I let you twos know and it'll be fixed on the final version. But yes, if you did not know, the Jack Sucks Drug for you twos is now revealed. It is coming out December fourth. It looks amazing. I'm really excited about it. Even the box looks amazing as well. Next week's Reddit video thumbnail. Oh yes, I did a little thumbnail challenge last week, didn't I? Obviously at that point in time, no one was expecting I was going to send Mr. Beast 100 million play button into space, which is obviously what the title of this Reddit video is going to be about. But this is a really nice replica. It looks exactly like my style. Sadly though, not going to lie, Jack sucks his stuff not actually at a million subscribers yet, which a uh, little bit depressing. <laughs> Still 18,000 subscribers away. No problem. But now the big video is out the way, I can go back to doing some bonus videos on Jack Sucks and stuff. And I'm sure we'll get to a million in a week or two. Jack's had some pretty different titles lately. Oh, I hate this new trend. Okay, trying out the Willy Woman for the first time. Stealing this to be 100 million play button. That was six days ago. You didn't think I'd actually do it, did you? I peed for 24 hours straight. Right, thanks. That's that's great. Excellent. <laughs> that's really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we all forgot about this war. Well, we won. Jack Sucks Alive versus Tesla. Oh, Tesla in the mud. Unreal. We're like 300k ahead. Don't mind if I do, guys. Jack, your bits and bobs are resting on my country. <laughs> Shout out to Northern Africa. Don't mind if you do a little treat for you there, guy. <laughs> Jack's new video tomorrow will be like, this was three days ago. I sent Mr. Beast 100 million play button to space. Oh, you were so close to being exactly right with the title. It's actually into space, you idiot. Stupid idiot. <laughs> Look at that though. Nearly a million views in just over a day. Don't mind if I do. Jack stops uploading comparison videos onto Jack Sucks' stuff, stopping the channel's growth. Jack continues to pump out many videos onto the Jack Sucks' geography channel. Jack waits till the last second to promote the Jack Sucks' stuff main channel. Jack wonders why Jack Sucks' stuff and Jack Sucks' geography didn't reach 1 million subscribers. 
times in the same day. How dare you? I have you know that for whatever reason, the comparison videos kind of had their day. The last few that I made, 300k, you know, that's nice, but it's definitely not the 2 million they were consistently getting like four months ago. So that is why I stopped doing the comparison videos because they just weren't really working anymore. Jack continues to pump out many videos on the Jack Sucks Geography channel. I have you know, idiot, that I actually stopped making YouTube shorts completely for like three weeks on the Geography channel and I went down to one video a week instead of the two or three that I was doing a couple of months ago. Jack Sucks at Geography is just too powerful, all right? It couldn't be stopped. I couldn't do it. Now this bit, Jack waits until the last second to promote Jack's stuff on the main channel. Yeah, that's fair. That, that is my bad. But everything else, shut your mouth. How normal people go to the gym, how Jack goes to the gym. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this idea before, but I have thought many times it would be a really funny video if I try to work out using only play buttons. And I guess now's my opportunity while I've got two particularly heavy ones. That's 18 kgs on each arm. Should I try and do a rep with Mr. Beast's play button? Is that a really bad idea after it's survived space? <laughs> Can't do it. I can't do it. I might have to start with a diamond play button and work my way up. <laughs> Jack's new video. I sent my willy warmer into space. Can we all stop talking about the willy warmer? Why is the willy warmer back again, all right? <laughs> Jack pulling up to Society Awards headquarters to claim his second legitimate 1 million play button to YouTube's dismay. <laughs> I'm actually not going to claim the Jack Sucks Geography play button until I can claim the Jack Sucks Stuff one because I want them to arrive at the same time because that's just a particularly nice flex, you know what I mean? And also, for some reason, it's the same UPS guy which delivers all the play buttons and he knows about my channel now, so I want to, like, particularly impress him, you know what I mean? Jack audience sending a play button to space <laughs> attic to her don't mind if i do you know what i kind of never want jack sucks geography to reach a million just so i don't have to do this really boring attic to her i finally found it after 15 years the scroll of truth the geography stuff play button won't have an emoji i probably forgot about that the little fella's in there i actually think that it will have an emoji but i mean i could be totally wrong it might be that those people that had emoji play buttons faked it but i've seen two now and they looked pretty real Can i have a little peek no, save it. Save it for the December video, Jack. Put your feet up for a few days, Jack. You just released a big video, mate. Just take it easy. <laughs> Where's New Zealand? Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen this as well. <laughs> this is particularly embarrassing because if you watch my U2's unboxing video, I did say this. I made sure that the globe was perfect. We weren't forgetting about New Zealand or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a common geography joke that New Zealand gets cropped out of maps because of its location. So I made sure it was on the globe, which it is, very accurate. But I forgot to make sure it was on my merch. Now, if you take a look at my merch, New Zealand is on the merch. But I guess because it had to be scaled down so small, it just disappeared on the U2's model. Because this is tiny. Like, look at the size of my finger. But I've reached out to U2's. I'm very annoying with the poor people at U2's because I put way too much effort into these little details that people don't really actually care about. But they're going to see if it's not too late to add on New Zealand. Sending Mr. Beast play button to space, what I'm actually doing, ending all future collaborations with Jack and Mr. Beast. <laughs> so if I'd ended up damaging the play button, I reckon that definitely would have happened. However, the play button survived and we got great content out of it, which is what Mr. Beast absolutely loves. So I think he'll be pleased. Although I suppose there is still time for me to break it. I need to be very careful with it. <laughs> In a video from 2019, Jack looked where in the States he is most popular slash searched on YouTube. And it was Ohio, apparently, which is interesting. So that was on Google Trends, so it's public. You could do this. So we're going to go to YouTube search past 12 months. Consistent. Nice. I mean, what's that about? Don't like that big decline. <laughs> Apparently, proportionately, we're more popular in Wales than we are in the other areas of United Kingdom. But changing to United States, here we go. Ohio's down to five, and New Jersey's at the top. I really have no idea what to do with this info. <laughs> Mr. Beast, can I get my play button back? Jack, or oh, about that, it's in space. <laughs> it was very stressful. I will maybe do a behind-the-scenes video, which goes through a little bit more of, like, the conversations which I had with Jimmy and his team, along with stuff that got cut out of the video, because obviously we wanted to make it so snappy that there is lots of extensions footage but yeah the team literally asked could we like pick it up again on sunday and i literally had to be like well not really we are sending it into space in the morning and i am in wales <laughs> also do not forget by the way subscribe to sent into space they really helped me out with this video they made the whole thing possible and i really want to help them get to 100k because they'll be sending their own silver play button into space when i do that and you know maybe i could collaborate with them again in the future they also did their own video where you can see us like chatting on a bit more of a behind the scenes so yeah go watch that mr beast hey can i have my play button back where is it? Jack. 
Beasts. It's up there, Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> two space videos in two days. Yeah, this is pretty weird. Some people are so unbelievably thick. I just cannot believe it. There was a worrying number of comments that were like, you copied Mark Rober's video. How did I copy Mark Rober's video, which came out 24 hours before mine? Four seconds into my video, it literally says three months earlier. You reckon I watched Mark's video 6 p.m. on Friday and then managed to fit in the meetings, the building of the rig, the getting the play button, the traveling to Wales, the traveling to London, editing of the video in time to get it out at 4 p.m. the following day. What are you talking about? Think. Stupid people. So many stupid people. Worrying number of stupid people in the world. Jack and his play buttons. Mr. Beast red diamond play button. PewDiePie's red diamond play button. Hair size diamond play button. <laughs> <laughs> kind of old news, you know. 200 million subs, 10 million subs. <laughs> he's still on the shelf, though. He's right there. I mean, you can barely see him because he's just a blurry bit of white that just kind of blends into my side, man. But there are some plans on the horizon for PewDiePie's play button. So if that disappears, which I'm not saying it's going to, but it might, I'll be putting KSI's play button back on top of the tower. I wonder where PewDiePie's play button could be going. Mm. It's not going to space. I'm not sending anything that heavy up to space again. No chance. I'm a turd boy 420 fan art. What? <laughs> It's a pink turd. Wow, that's that's really good. That, that looks amazing. Thank you for that. <laughs> How I predict Saturday's video, sending Mr. Beast 100 million play buttons to space, it doesn't come back down. I'm going to actually show you a cool bit of extra footage because it's just really cool. Look at this. This was filmed by the recovery team after the play button had landed. Look how much frost has come up on that. You see it? It's all on the edge as well. Whoa. Look at that. It's just like covered in frosty ice. Just the whole thing other than the red crystal. How cool is that? And then just like wipe it off with their finger. It's all around the edge as well. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Amazing. That is pretty cool. Space is cold, it turns out. Boy, freezing. <laughs> Jack's looks like life dropping in a Fortnite match. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Jack, why is there no cheese on your pizza? Because I ordered a vegan pizza. I mean, there are vegan cheeses out there, which probably would have preferred, I'm going to be honest. But it was still nice. I liked it. Did make my breath reek of garlic for the rest of the day, which was a bit embarrassing for Franklin turning up. Shout out to Franklin, by the way, traveling all the way from North Carolina to London to deliver this for me. I mean, I appreciate that. That's a bit of a faff on. Originally, Jimmy said he was going to have them deliver it to my door, and then they were going to pick it up 24 hours later. But I think all Americans assume everyone in the UK just lives in London. So them traveling to my house would be a bit too much of a faff on. So I met them in London instead. Mr. Beast Red Diamond play button right now. Floating around in space. How good did the footage look, by the way? Let's watch the little climax. Here we go, here we go. Mr. Beast's award is now fully submerged oh. in the Earth's stratosphere. No way. Finally, we reach the boundaries, boundaries of, of space. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, such nice music that Becky found. Listen to this. Look at that red Baccarat crystal. In the unobstructed sun. Oh, and we've got a rear camera as well. Check out that reflection. Oh. And then, just as I get Jimmy and you. And this bit. Oh, paper, it's just so intense. It's so dramatic. Yeah. What happens, Jack? <gasps> the weather balloon burst. Was that meant to happen? <laughs> This priceless award begins hurling towards Earth with a pink sensitive <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. The app for the long channel name. Oh, God, I hate these stupid YouTube handles. Yeah, it got auto-changed to Jack's Epic YouTube channel full 661. Why are you doing that to me, bro? But I actually logged in and I have changed it. WWM, 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 WWM. <laughs> It's one of the longest channels in the world, so I wanted it to have one of the longest handles in the world as well. This is not the longest handle possible, but it's still pretty long. And it's better than bloody 661. What is that monstrosity? If there is one promise you would like this man to do, what would it be? I'm predicting Jack Sucks at Wigs is probably going to be the top one. And Oh, it's Banana Warfare 2. Yeah, that, that would genuinely be a good video. Whereas a lot of my promises, like Jack Sucks at Wigs, and they're like drinking the 10-year-old Coke bottle and stuff, they're all just a bit underwhelming when I actually would do them. Whereas this could be a good video. There will be a Banana Warfare 2, all right, but it will be when I am good and ready. <laughs> I think I've told you this before, but I'm not sure. Ellie, that featured in Banana Warfare 1, she is up for featuring in Banana Warfare 2, okay? So, even though I've not seen her at all for like seven years, I'm sure that'll be really weird, but she will be in the sequel. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you, Jack. You've helped me get my most liked tweet on Twitter. Much appreciated. Ah, you changed your wallpaper. Well, guess what? So did I. <laughs> I've had to be very careful not to show this off for the past, like, month. But yeah, how beautiful does that look? Isn't that nice? <laughs> I have made a YouTube short about this, which will be out in like many months time, probably. So 
I made this. Oh. <laughs> this frame is the frame that travelled into space. Because I was getting kind of sad when I sent off Mr. Beast's play button before I had all the issues. That I wasn't going to have anything to keep that had actually been into space. But then the Sensor Space people actually gave me all of these components that were like built around it. And I thought it would make a beautiful, very cool looking frame that I can stick on the wall behind me. And technically, I could make one of these for Mr. Beast. Seeing as I've got the other side of it. So Jimmy, I know you're watching this Reddit video. <laughs> Just drop me a DM, mate. I'll get it sent right over. The recovery team closing in on Mr. Beast's 100 million award. Jack closing in on a McDonald's hash brown. <laughs> yeah, that video was not possible without me. I just did so much work, guys. I tried making a thumbnail for the next Reddit video. Do you know what? It's pretty good, Dad. I'll probably do something quite similar. <laughs> turd Boy 420 chin reveal. <laughs> I don't know how Turd Boy has gone on this long. How are people still talking about Turd Boy 420 in 2022? <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Jack, since you want someone to make your thumbnails, I'm your man. <laughs> it looks just like me. That's Spot on. Thanks for that, mate. Jack's sending Mr. Beast's play button into space. Jack is sending Mr. Beast's play button into space on my birthday. Hope you had a nice birthday. What a treat. Oh, mwah. list of things that will never be completed. Five. Oh, God. It's a new list each time with all new things. I don't know how you remember some of these. They're so obscure. Pink hair giveaway. I did do that one, I think. I swapped a strand of my pink hair for a package by Rick Card. That happened. Daily Jack Sucks Alive shorts. That one, I said I would maybe do next year when the new shorts monetization thing comes out as an experiment to see like how many views and how much money we could make. I might still do that one. The skill giveaway. Did I not give away the skill? I ate the skill, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I laughed at that post way too much. When Jack discovers America, I am Columbus. <laughs> All right, best post of the week. 51 upvotes. That's a tragedy, that is. Why does Jack's narration sound like an English creative writing piece? Now, 15,000 feet into the air, we emerge above the clouds, <laughs> a place where miserable UK weather no longer matters. The unobstructed sun shines onto the Baccarat crystal for the first time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mwah. I made an intro for the Attic Tour. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Prepare to be very underwhelmed. <laughs> A normal attic. There's nothing going on up there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really good. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Beast sends Jack his play button. Jack yeets it into space. <laughs> Since this video is on trending, maybe Jack's Mr. Beast video will get recommended with it, or maybe it'll be completely overshadowed. So I was partly worried that because of this video that came out first and Mark being a much bigger channel, I was worried that it would harm my video, but I think it's actually helped it slightly. If you look in the analytics, you can see that I am popping up in the recommended section of that video. And I know 6.1% of 9.3% doesn't seem like very much, but it does equate to like 30,000 views or something, and hopefully that will just keep going. Also, if you're curious about the analytics, it's a big fat one of 10 of course, and it's got quite the lead on the previous one of 10, which was Dream's world record video. You can see it's like 400,000 views. I've also changed the thumbnail like three times, just trying different stuff. Many people said this thumbnail was kind of like goofy and weird looking, but I mean, it worked. It got it to one of 10 and it had like 700,000 views before I started trying anything else. But then I did experiment with a more traditional space thumbnail, which is this one, as a lot of people suggested, but it didn't seem like it really made that much of a difference. Like I was keeping a close eye on the views and there wasn't really that much of an increase, but I've since compromised with this one, which is like a little bit of both. I've got rid of weird little astronaut Jack and his tiny arm. <laughs> but maybe we'll make a return. I'll be keeping a close eye on the performance. Jack's next Guinness World Record video. Guinness World Records commented on the video. They said, does this mean you now also hold the record for having the most 100 million play buttons? Well, yes, it definitely does. But on a serious note, I emailed my contact at Guinness asking like, have they any ideas for like a world record that I could get based on this? Like first 100 million play button in space? Surely that would be an epic world record. And they said, no, they didn't think that that would be significant enough. Not significant enough. I sent a hundred million play buttons to space. <laughs> so yes, yeah, sadly, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get a Guinness World Record based on the video. Hey Jack, what play buttons will you take off your wall to make space for your two new gold ones? Oh yeah, I'm really going to have to have a shuffle because they take up quite a bit of space. I guess I'll just be sacrificing a bunch of the silver ones and they can just go into the tower because there's like five in there now. And I guess like the taller the tower looks, the cooler it'll be. But yeah, I'm really going to have to have a shuffle. I might simplify the wall quite a bit. I'm undecided. The battle has begun. Jack's drop versus don't subscribe 
Ooh, yes, it'll become my second biggest channel because technically, I guess, Don't Subscribe kind of has that on it. We've still got quite a ways to go. We were like 160,000 away. The biggest ratio of YouTube history. KSI flexed his two 10 million play buttons. Jack sucks at life flexing his 200 million play buttons. That is unreal. <laughs> so happy to get this notification. Yeah, it was, it was very exciting that we could finally release these videos. A few people guessed I would be doing something with Mr. Beast's 100 million play button, but no one guessed it was going into space. Linus Tech Tips play button wall from his li Oh, we've run out of battery. <laughs> Yeah, Linus has a really nice play button wall. It's the only other YouTuber that I've seen which has a wall somewhat similar to mine. And it looks epic. Look at the old G gold play button up top. But I guess the camera dying signifies we should end off this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you once again for all the support on the space video. Don't forget about the U2s dropping December 4th. Very exciting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.